What is up, people on YouTube? We are here playing Kingsway, the Fifeinator. We're gonna go ahead and just maybe take a look at the library, uh, the short page on Steam, just so we know what we're talking about here. Kingsway is the number one operating system for daily tasks such as skeleton smashing, loot organizing, trouble sorting through all your potions and swords. Don't worry, Kingsway can help you manage. With an easy to use interface, you'll have time left over for a peaceful stroll through the underworld. RPG adventure simulation, roguelike, retro, single player. Um, this is, what was it? It was Adult Swim Games. It, to the Kingsway Operating System Video Guide. This video. It looks like it's like a super retro operating system. Uh oh. Well, now what did we do? I can go back to settings. I can't read that. I'm doing it anyways. We're fine. Comply. Okay, bigger. What? This isn't making any sense. What are you doing? Press Alt. Alt? No. Not doing anything. Alt Enter. Take it off of full screen. Now we gotta set it back into full screen. <sighs> oh, not a good start, but here we are. We're gonna jump in. New adventure, go. You gotta, I don't know why it, it's centered on the bottom right. Enter name. Oh, it's choose class. We're gonna be an adventurer. Strength, vitality, intellect, agility. We are just basic as. Did you stop putting it down there? Eyes. Squinty. And that's those are adventurer eyes right there. Hairstyle. Yeah, okay. Brows, you can't see it. Hair color. Nose. I've got a small nose. In color, I'm pale AF mouth. Yep, that sounds about right. Taking a shit. Five hundred, hundred bits. Take off full screen. I don't know why the game is having issues with full screen for you. Nope, it's too late. Head shape. It's the standard. I don't care about ears, you guys. I don't care. There it is. That's me. Gameplay options. What do you have? Daily leaderboard run. I don't know what that means. So just no. Everything normal. So. You actually want me to take it off full screen? Because that would be like hella annoying. Is it working? Okay. Choose a starting gift. Six health points, two magic points, or 20 gold. Um, let's go the health points, I guess. Add another gift for 10 gems. Kingsway. Fish. Double click the world navigator to travel through the land of Kingsway. World navigator. The yellow circles on the map are map nodes. Click a node to travel to its location or inspect it for more information. This kind of seems like it's going to be one of those things that starts automating itself because we wrote a program. Travel. There is a battle dummy. Some locations have events that trigger when you arrive. You must deal with the event before you can continue traveling. Attack the battle dummy. When, a battle, when in a battle, you can choose an available skill. Each skill has a special use and some are faster than others. Press the attack skill to attack your target. Does nothing. Does nothing. So it's like a timed thing. That's what. That's when they go. And move this. Plus five experience. Defeated dummy. Close battle screens to continue. Loot. Nothing found. You will encounter battles while traveling as well as in events. If you encounter an enemy too powerful, you can try to escape. Um, is there music in this game? Is that something I have to buy the DLC? You go over here and get this stuff. There is a supplies chest. 
Inspect. There is a sign next to the chest that reads, One free potion per adventure. Take it. Double click my bag to view your items. Click and drag to move items between bags. Bags have a limit to how much they can hold, so only take what you need. So here's my bag. We'll drag that potion into there, okay. Where do we want to put this stuff? You know, where, where, where do we want to be like this? Music button on the left side. Huh. Yeah. Shit. That Windows music player, though. Return to surface? Is that what that means? Okay. We'd be on surface now. Where's the volume on this goddamn thing? There's no volume. There's no volume button. Minimize it. And now it's gone. This is the king's land. The king's castle is to the east, but be careful traveling to the east too quickly. There are powerful monsters closer to the king's castle, so take your time to get some experience on the way. You got a quest. Double click the quest icon to view and manage your current quests. It's really loud now! I feel like this should be a, a slider on the top for... for... I, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. It's loud. It's just loud. It's just okay. We're loud now. We'll turn it down a bit. Uh, quests. Orientation. What do you got? Subject. Orientation. Welcome to Kingsway. We... Oh, I gotta read. We are Adventure Corp. Are here to guide you on your pilgrimage to the King's Castle. The first thing you'll want to do is get acquainted with the Guild. The Guild is an organization that employs outsiders like yourself to do various tasks around the land. Their rewards will be essential to your journey. Is this what you wanted, Fife? Bring them the letter that brought you here, and they'll take it from here. You can't find guild outposts at any fort and in some small villages. You forgot that I had to learn how to play, didn't you? Requirement, king's summons, rewards, supplies, bag, experience, 25. Uh, bring them. The guild... You're going to want to get acquainted with the guild. The guild is an organization that employs outsiders like yourself. You got to get to the guild, bring them the letter. How do I accept? Is it fine? You good? Where's, where's the guild? Is this the king's castle? Fort Efiongip. Okay, okay. Can I, can I look around on the map? No. Nope. Can't do that. Can't look around the map. Let's inspect that. That's an outpost. And that is uh, an outpost. Oh, the bottom outpost. <laughs> taskbar is covered up by the Windows 11 taskbar. I guess I did forget about the learning aspect, but also Windows 11 taskbar is covering the game. Let me get an auto hide. No, how do we do that? There we go. Turning it back up now. Okay. That's gonna be a pain though if I go all the way down. No, does it not bring up my taskbar? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Um. And honestly, the top bar being there is like, is whatever. To be honest, you can't tell the difference. Looks like a freaking computer program anyways, you dingleberry. Uh, can we go down? It's just an outpost. We don't have to go fight. I want to go fight. I want to kill something. I want to fight somebody. The old tell stories of the shifting land when one day the sun won't rise, but instead an internal being will travel over the land. Closing the sky with its unthinkable size, its footprint distorts the ground. Those few who survive will no longer recognize the land, and history will begin anew. Every era, the people of the land seek a savior to end this cycle of destruction but on by the Eternal One, which some call the Sky Eater. Ancient prophecy predicts an outsider will come to the King's Land only days before the reckoning and gain the power to destroy the Sky Eater. 
Travel to the king's castle to the east to prove yourself the worthy savior of the land. Did it say? Wait a second. Oh, it's here. An outsider will come to the king's land only days before the reckoning and gain the power. How am I going there to gain the, you're saying the power is in the king's castle because the king can just fucking find the goddamn power and use it himself. I, look. You're telling me that the, the power is with the king and he's selfishly holding on to it. Saying you must pay me, the king, your taxes. Otherwise, I'm going to not use this power. Anyways. Travel to the other one that we didn't go to. Ascended. Kill it! Ow! Got him. I don't like this whole, like... Having to, you know... Clicked on the button faster. Especially when the freaking thing is moving around. Defeated. Nothing found. How do I level up? You see a gang of bandits. They look bloodthirsty. Approach them. The bandits surround you. There are two of them. Talk. The bandits are carrying stolen goods and offer you a bribe to not tell anyone what you've seen. Yeah, sure. Bandit gives you 12 gold and leave. I don't know them. I don't even know where they were coming from. Reputation decreased slightly. Nobody else was around. And did the bandits run off and then say that they stole shit and I didn't rat on them? How does anybody know? How does, how do literally does, how does anybody know? Nana Tim saw me. Did I go here? I don't know. You're stupid zombies, what you are. Block. Got blocked. Sun. Kim saw you. Ah, yes, the inn. New message. Guild service. Rats. Big rats. Giant, disgusting vermin. Get them out. I don't care how you do it, please. A location has been added to the World Navigator. Requirement. Kill rats at location. Reward. Guild special helm. Hmm. Okay. I'm assuming the end we heal. <gasps> Weapon shop. How much money do we got? I don't see, uh... 55. Cleave plus one. I don't, I don't know, like... What I'm really looking at here, if like the axe has higher range or something like that, or if it's literally just the plus one. Because then I would just go for the cheaper plus one. On the store page, right click. Properties. Damage 2 to 4, let's compare it to the uh, cleaver here. 2 to 2. Required strength 9, I have 4. Can I increase that right now? Nope. I wouldn't even be able to use it. I was about to sell my sword in order to, to, to grab that spear. Can I use that? No. Sword sword. Can I use that? No. It's been fun. Thank you for that. Oh, guild. The guild. Quests. Orientation. Submit. You leveled up. Your health increased by one. Defense increased by one. Plus three stat points. Plus one skill point. There's no skill. What is his skills? Kindle. Add one fire damage to the next attack. Magic cost one. Magical shield. Decreased damage taken by two for a short time. Flee. Permanently increased chance to escape. Heal. Recover nine hit points of health. 
Critical focus, chance to critical hit, plus 4% vigilance. At the start of every battle, your first attack is 40% faster. Let's do heal. Gonna do it? Yeah, there we go. Second one, defense. Ooh, yeah, well... About that. Flies bag. This is not my bag, right? We want to take these? I don't know who supplies... Oh, quest rewards. I see it. There we go. Discard items and quest reward? No, what? I took it all. Take the bag? Take the whole damn bag. Deft ring of warding. Where that? 2% agility, 7% magic power. Okay. We have potion of magic, a key. We have two keys. Can we stack the keys? We may not. Painstakingly do that to organize it though, sucker. Alright. Um we don't need the skills anymore. Let's learn heal. Rats is not something that we would like to turn in, because we didn't do it yet. Storage. It's like we can store things. Store the bag. Unless you can actually put things in the bag and then it no longer counts as weight and it's a way to cheat the system, but you can open the supplies bag too at the same time. You can. If I put it in the supplies bag... Yeah, we no longer have the weight. That doesn't make any sense. Put the magic potion in there for now, I guess. I don't know. We could put, like, extra loot. I suppose. Remember that it's there. Potion shop. Potion of attack. Temporarily increases attack speed. Do not drink more than three day. Full potion. We're just going to probably save our money. I don't really know what I'm doing. Health and magic recovery. Don't need it. Travel. No available travel locations. Alright, let's get to the star, eh? Can I go back to this? Any reason why I can't backtrack and get all the nodes? Is there a certain time I gotta, I gotta get there by? Oh, shit. Block them. Ruined armor. Let's take a look at it first. Skull. Uh-huh. That sounds really nice. We're currently wearing a defense one. Ruined armor is defense three. Dirty shirt. Suppose we could take the potion out of here and we could just put some junk in here. Like this. Thoughts, you have three stat points. PSA. I wanted one of those weapons, so I'm gonna go up in the strength. And... Ooh, uh... Does this give me agility? Is that why that's blue? This is giving me the agility. Plus two agility, yep. Vitality. Go. Status. What is your status? Down here, that's the bottom right. As the days go by, there's darkness that creeps around the land. Punch the fungaloid. Block. What's, what's this? I gotta fight both now? Baby fungaloid? Antidote. And the living seed.
I think it's out. Go bad, get to the tier two sub to Rad Girl. Cool, 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 cool. Nice. You see another wanderer on your path, sitting on a rock. They look scared. Approach. The wanderer appears to be injured and asks for your help. Heal spell. Wanderer gains strength. Thanks. And thanks you. Talk. Wanderer thanks you again and gives you two, 22 gold. Talk advice or talk rumors? Rumors. The wanderer says, have you heard of the foundation? They stay in the mountains summoning demons, but why? Demons are so dangerous, they must be planning something. That hot goss. I just take reduced damage when I'm blocking. Oh, I didn't mean to block again. This seems like I just I still take damage. I'm dying. Hooded figure approach. There's a hooded figure approaching. They look curious. The hooded figure is holding some treasure and doesn't notice you. Talk. Hooded figure says he will sell you the mysterious item. Take it. Deft spear. Talk rumors. Advice. If you're overburdened, don't forget you can put items in the storage box at, at Guild Outposts. You can always retrieve stored items from any storage box. Required agility 9 and level 4. We are level 2. We'll kill some rats, I guess. Maybe health potion. Who arrived? I wish I could make this bigger. The location for the quest rats. You stand at the entrance of the warehouse. There are several rooms. Where do you go? Basement. You know what? No one expects the side room. Rataman. Level 3 beast. Oh, what is it saying? I don't have enough magic to use that potion? I think it's saying I don't have enough magic to heal. I, I, I meant to hit the block, but now I'm, I'm just, I just, this is fucked. This is fucked. This is fucked. Stop moving the box! He leveled up! Health increased by three uh, degree, uh, <laughs> Health is full, by the way. Defense increased by one, plus three stat points, plus one skill point. Required agility nine. Let's go agility then. What else does this sucker do? This gives me plus two agility. Does that, that means I shouldn't have to upgrade my agility all the way, right? Maybe. Why is Huts playing in Windows 95? I was forced to do this. East Eye. Let's let's put some of the stuff in this bag here that we're not we don't want to use. My magic, I only have eight magic points. That's what I wasn't looking at there. Several barrels and crates line the rooms. Open. Potion of Cure All. Short sword. Six damage. Is that better than. Yeah, zero to one! Okay, that's a little bit better. Mildly. There's no way to stop the movement. It's just. Ugh. Ugh. We'll get another skill. Fire damage, next attack. Decreased damage taken by two for a short time. Lee, critical focus. Critical hits could be really, really good.
Critical focus. I don't have two different active abilities that I have to worry about. Give me one passive, please. Or maybe I could have just upgraded my heal. I don't know. Go to the library. Get into the library. Many of the books have been chewed apart. At the bookcases. Scroll of chill. I thought it said chili. Book of Astral Storm. Permanently learn skill Astral Storm. I need to have Intellect 12. Alright, we'll take the Ass Storm. Scroll of Skeleton. Cast skill, summon skeleton, summon a skeleton to help you. There are food scraps scattered all over the kitchen. A trail of crumbs leads to a hole in the big wall and enough to peer into. Look into the hole. The rat was masturbating. Feverishly. Defeated. Nothing found. He was what? Don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. Basement. There was a long, dark staircase leading to the basement to prepare yourself for the worst. Enter. The stairs have been chewed through. As you get to the bottom, the stairs collapse. The basement is sprawling. You can hear skittering in the dark corners. Ellipses. Should have gone to the kitchen. Or whatever else I didn't go to. Bedroom, I think. Ah, oh, shoot. Basement. 112 distance. 112's away. No units needed. Skitter this. Bing. Block. Unblock. Heal. Strike. Block. Unblock. Strike. Strike again. Strike a third time. Block. How much do I actually save by blocking? Still getting shit on. Another evil beast eye. Oh, I'm getting pooped on. Before it was anywhere from 203 damage. I don't know what that means. You come across a locked treasure chest that is being guarded by a creature. Approach. I had to kill all of you guys anyway, so let's just start with a block here. Heal. Another block. That does two damage when I blocked. Three damage now. I get two in and a block? No. Is it attack block? Dude, I clicked on it. You're such a lying sack of garbage. Scroll of whatever you are, go! It's chill. Scroll of chili. You leveled up? Just attacks this Fifenator. Why the frick wouldn't I block every single time? Upgrade heal. Costs more though. But that's that's a significant amount of health that we will get. We'll do it. Just barely made it out, lol. Pfft, I'm fine. Never felt better than this. Your state points are available. Can I equip this spear? 
You can't use this yet, but it gives me. It gives me agility when I equip it. Plus two agility. Did you apply that to my sc stats? You didn't. No, okay. Okay. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Yep. Yep. So that's uh, damage two to two. This is damage three to four. I thought this short sword was like damage four or something, and then the broken sword that I had was damage one. But apparently, I read that wrong. I don't know how I messed that one up. Maybe I, I maybe I, I looked at required strength, uh, strength six instead of the damage stat. But regardless, the spear is better. <sighs> Let's upgrade strength, I suppose. Vitality would be also another uh, intellect would be awesome to be able to heal myself more too. So I don't know. You approach the treasure chest, open it. The mighty boosh, the mighty death hood of health. Uh huh. Uh huh. And the book of chill. It's a permanently learned chill. Intellect eight. I am too dumb. Put this hood on, huh? Required level five. Plus three strength, plus three regeneration. And 22 critical damage. Well, we do have crit. Please. What if I just leave it there? Could that just sit there until I am ready? Yeah. All right. A fight. Do you think I should just attack and not block ever? Here it goes. It did six damage instead of three. Heal. Full health, baby. Right halberd of doom. And the dark club. It's a club, but it's darker. Plus three intellect, damage six to eight. That is much, much higher. I am not misreading that one. Required agility 16. Looks like we are on an agility build, but level eight too. We only have uh, 25 carry weight. We're getting close to max here. One to 10 and minus three regeneration. Yeah, no, we'll try to sell that if I can. Did you loot? That was the looting. Come across the treasure chest. You approach the treasure chest. You open the treasure chest. The mystic hand. And the leather. Ooh, the leather bustier. Girl. Defense 8. I can do it. Oh, wait. What's this, though? Defense three, this is way better. Get on that skirt. The treasure chest eats your treasure chest. What's the mystic hand? Plus four magic points, offhand uh, type. Instead of a shield, got it. So now we have plus four magic points for healing and stuff. Okay. That's fine. Why do we look like Chino? You come across a locked treasure chest. It's being guarded by a creature. Defeated. How come some of them don't have eyeballs? You approach the treasure chest. You open the chest. Oh! Did you ever get Vanishing Twin? Hell yes, I did. The trap is set. Orb. Offhand. Plus two damage. But we need ten intelligence. To handle this orb. One to two damage. You actually can just get thrown away. I hate you. 
We didn't get to this one. There was a rat. We knew we had to kill all the rats, right? Get a heal in there. I maybe could have waited a little bit longer to heal, but... You leveled up! God, I'm a genius. Critical fro... Cr critical focus, he says. Upgrade that. That focus, though. Dead sights. Skill, vigor, plus 5 strength, plus 5 vitality, plus 10% escape chance, plus 8% block, required level 7. That's definitely gonna be worth it. I'm gonna put that on for sure. Go back over here, I guess. What the? I didn't. I didn't put my my skill points on. I put my new shoes on. Book of Sword Mastery. Use it. Learned Sword Mastery. Let me get Book of Chill yet? To like eight. Sword Mastery. What is that? What does that mean? Is that how we got this strong attack? Throw coin, scrounge. I don't remember these. Chance to find a bit of gold from traveling. Throw coins. Skillfully throw one coin at your target, dealing one damage. That sounds like absolute shit. My dog chewed up my Pokemon Game Boy games. Almost dropped 1500 on an eBay lot of games. When you level, you get more skills to choose from. So what was that sword mastery that I just got then? What about the book of ass? No, intellect eight. Okay. How do I get this dead side on again? Just level seven, okay. We were waiting on the hood, but we have the hood on currently, so we're good on that front. We wanted maybe the bright halberd of doom, which was uh, dex. Agility, I mean. But we still need to be level eight to get that on, so that's gonna be a while. I do like an agility point and then maybe a couple of intellects. So we can heal more. Our healing seems like it's going to be huge. Uh, uh, uh. Every step you take. Ah, oh, shit. Every move you make Every vow you break Every turn you turn Every time you pee and shake I'll be watching you You find a large nest in a room full of giant rats Towards the back of the room is an exit to the outside Attack the giant rats. Bastards. Healed up, baby. Good thing they're coming at me one at a time here. Big dummies. Big buttheads. Why are you so bad at this game? You attack the giant rats. Snoot. An Albert. Six to eight. Required agility, 16. That's very close to this, isn't it? What's the difference? This one's just magical. Okay. So they are... The Alberts are true to the Alberts. But if one's magical, it's the same thing with magic stuff. Okay, 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 okay. I'm almost full up. Bag is too full. I am full up. Can you put that in there? Shh. Weight is five. We can get rid of, like, the short sword. Stick it in there. Beast. I'm assuming I use the beast eyes to prove that I've killed them. Book of Burn. Permanently learned skill burn. 
Is there any reason I would not use that? Does it replace something? Small shield. Be an offhand thing. Do we want less magic? What does this do? Add to my... 8% block. Well, I'm not blocking anymore, so... Oh, how much weight are you? Two. Could free it up by shoving some more things in here. Book of chili. It is salvageable. Replace ruined armor with short sword. Maybe it's too late now. Alright, kill rats at location. Are we done? There are no more giant rats in the house. Return to surface. I guess, can I go to any guild to turn this in? Zombie, you got another thing coming now. I've leveled up. Jogja dungeon. That doesn't sound like a town, does it? We got a backtrack done. I have another key. Oh, you know, we've been using the keys to open up the chests. Okay. I wasn't paying attention to that. Guild, 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 Summon ethereal, ethereal, or is that an ethereal? It's ethereal, ethereal. Arrow toward your target, dealing nine damage. Magic cost three. Parry! When you successfully block an attack, you reflect 2 damage plus 10% of your max damage. They slow attack when shields 100% of the player's max damage. Everything's blinking at me. Why are you blinking? Who just beeped? This? Is that? Were you yelling at me for? Compare these two helmets. Defense 4, defense 8. This is plus 3 strength, plus 3 regeneration, plus 22% critical damage. This is gold fund, agility, vitality, and regeneration. Probably the defense 8 one, if I'm being honest. Can I sell things here? Or if I back out of this, the quest rewards just stays there, okay? How do I sell things? There we go. Sell, sell, sell. What else do we not need? Can I sell the skull or am I going to need the skull for some reason? And the living seed, am I going to need the living seed for some reason? Dirty shirt. Sold it for zero, a whopping zero. What about the beast eyes? Am I going to need that for something? I feel like I, I should just sell it because I, I need space. Can't put the hat on yet. I guess I'll sell this hat. The what stars? East Eye? Keep one in case I need it. Still need to be intellect 12 for that. Let's go. Strength. And two intellect. But I've gotten to this. 16 agility. We're not level 8 yet. One of these things is giving me agility too. So once I unequip it, our agility is going to go back down. Plus three agility. We have plus five special agility, but whatever. Our skill. Upgrade the critical focus, maybe? You can use the chili now. Um, 
Chance to find a bit of gold from travel? Sure. No. We have a lot of gold right now. What are we going to use it on? More scroll of chili. Wood wand, antidote, potion of magic. Deft ring of fury. We have this dead sight that we wanted to equip. Plus two agility, plus five percent attack speed. That's not bad, but... Level seven, we're going to get all that shit. So let's just wait. <gasps> Save up. Maybe we'll find some really cool thing to spend money on. Put up this way. Corpse Eater. Starts digging a hole. Got a whole ass spear. There's another wanderer in the distance. They look harmless. Wanderer greets you. We should kill it. Wanderer wonders what you like to discuss. Rumors. Wanderer says, I've heard stories of strange altars in the dungeons below the graveyards. Some say they are a source of great power, but be careful associating with forbidden magic. Is this the darkness coming, or is that just deep water? Bye, Fainter. Don't forget to check your mail. Also, you can change your active skills at the bottom of the skills page. Current battle skills. Click to swap. Oh, burn, chili, heal, escape, block, attack. What's this? I can just take off escape if I never want to escape. Some chili on there. Quests. Have you seen my horsey? His name is Sponge, and he was taken by some bandits. He must be so scared. Please bring him here if you find him. Sponge. Location has been added to the World Navigator. It might be Sponge right there. King's Castle. Hello, Huts. Making your way to the King's Castle won't be an easy task. There are three beacons that first must be lit before the King's Gate will open. These beacons are spread out across the island. How does... How, how do they get the deliveries, then? Right? How do the people growing the food get... They, they go over there, and then they light the beacons just to get through your gate, and deliver your food. And then what do they go out and they blow them back out? No. You're wrong. Beacons are spread out across the island and are protected by the king's most powerful knights. To help you find your way, we've put a map on the island in your storage box at the guild. Go to any guild outpost to pick it up. You're a douche. I was just there. Sponge is our number one priority. F. Dogia Cade. Let's go to this village. Fungaloid did zero damage. Gibber. I'm more of a taker. Already ring of judgment. Plus two vitality, 16% damage to demons. Demon spawn. There's another wanderer crossing your path. They look scared. The wanderer is being attacked and is losing. Help. Critical hit. Critical. Nothing. You help the wanderer talk. What would you like to discuss? Advice. I'm just traveling to regenerate my magic energy. Cut. Okay. That's good advice. You're owning them, nice. It's closer. Dick. He ascended. It's gotta be something to do with these beast eyes. Who are approached by an old scraggly witch-like figure hunched over wearing a hood and walking with a large staff. The witch comes right up to you. The witch looks up to you up and down and says, I can help you with your little adventure if you're interested. Interested? You just barely see a smile beneath the hood. Your first one is free. The witch staff begins to shake and there is a flash of light. The witch is gone.
You suddenly gain post not clarity. You feel a change in yourself. Health regeneration permanently increased. <sighs> I don't know what that means. Well, when do we regenerate? Per, per travel? Yo, what? You and use the skulls and beast eyes, etc. at an anvil once you find. What do you got here? Potion of attack? That's interesting. Put that in the weapons sword. Crude curved swords of frenzy. Minus two agility, but crit chance plus. I think that crit chance could be our, our thing. And crit chance could be our thing. Right, strength 10. We're so close to just being able to use it now. 3 to 6 damage, though, compared to our 3 to 4. Do it. Add to cart. I'd like to view my cart. I'd like to check out, please. Complete my transaction. You can have the spear. You take the Albert. I'm not going to go for it anymore. I'm going to take the mess from my shopping cart. And we just need, what was it? One more strength? Right, strength 10. We have nine. We could just equip dead sight. One more level and we can get plus five strength from that and then we'll be golden. You play in Windows 95? Something like that. As a general store. Smoke bombs. Increased chance to escape. Do not drink. We can get another small bag? Maybe there's a supplies bag? That's probably worth it. All this money. I have a key too. A couple small bags here. We can just rename them as well, I'm assuming. Actually, go like this. The key in there. We could get. We could say small bag rename. Trash. Supplies bag. Oh, this this is the supplies bag. Okay, that one actually want to be trash. This one we can rename. Maybe potions. Potions. Uh. Trash and more trash. Lol. We put the potion. Uh, we gotta get it like this, right? We gotta open it. Like that? That sounds nice. There's five weight in there already. It's seems worth it to me. Put our bags over here, maybe. Put this here. All right. All right. <sighs> Pretty good. Jamie wants to play Spirit Fair. Apparently, Jamie and I are going to play Spirit Fair in 30 minutes. Probably closer to 45. Be a late Spirit Fair night. This trash did that trash. All right, we can probably put keys away. How much? How much weight are they be talking about for these? Point one. Not, not a big deal. Okay, let's forget about it. Let's just. Uh, it's going to move on. But I thought I was going to kill him too. We try to get over to this cave. Let's do it. Kind of a... Hey, Kobas. I'm not doing as much damage anymore. What did I take off? That would have given me more damage. Skeleton this time. Pale Bone Club of Judgment. 
ladies. Zero two damage, minus three strength, but plus 22% damage to demons. If I hit zero, but then added 22% of that zero. Yeah. We arrive outside a campsite. There are a couple of large tents which are adorned with the guild's emblem. As soon as you enter the campsite, you are greeted by a guard of the guild. They offer to pl you a place to rest and heal up. There is a drifter staying at the camp. Talk to drifter. The drifter looks like they have been down on their luck. Give them ten gold. I'm rich. Look, rumors. The guard tells you a rumor about a powerful monster and they mark its location on your map. You won't believe this potion. Hello, Huts. I hear you might be interested in a unique product we make specifically for adventurers like yourself. You won't find this potion anywhere else. All we ask for you is to gather the core ingredient and we'll do the rest. It's that simple. Free living seeds. Okay. For a Fotid potion. That's a bottle of shit. That's a bottle of shit. Rest up. Is that it? Monster? Is that, does that monster have what I need? Should I go back? I don't know why it's marked. Take him out. Not even a bottle of shit, it's a shit bottle of shit. Don't. It's a super strong monster. What a monster. Did we go here? Oh, I, I meant to inspect it. We didn't go here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You leveled up. Um, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and equip that dead sights. This is two vitality damage to demons. This is two agility magic power. Um, I'll keep the magic power for my healing. I'll take this off and replace it with the dead sight. Learn skill vigor. That... Skill vigor, yeah. What does it mean? Vigor temporarily increases attack speed. I'm not using chill, so. I haven't even chillied once. And then we want to equip our crude curved sword of frenzy. Um, and then maybe some more intellect, some strength, and maybe a little bit of agility. I don't have one thing that I need to go for right now, so. Find the horse, the kid missed it. Sponge. Let's go ahead and... I think we should just pick one and go for it. So the increased damage when wielding a sword. Does this count as a sword? Crude, crude sword. Yes, but maybe crit is even better. Cool. Did we get 100% crit? Enter the dungeon. Rose of the chest. You come across a locked treasure chest is being guarded by a creature. Approach. Church guard. Pathetic. Nothing found. Unlock the chest. Open the chest. Ruined armor plus one. Right into the trash. I'm gonna go this way, maybe. A little shit. So this is another tough monster, huh? You don't think I can take it?
It's turned into Darkest Dungeon now. Ah! Strange figure on your path is carrying a small bag overflowing with shiny object. The figure is very focused, investigating every crevice of a nearby wall. Then a closer look, you can see that the strange figure is some sort of demon-like creature. It notices you and tries to hide behind its bag. Talk. I'll let you look at my items if you promise not to hurt me. The demon thanks you for sparing me. I'll let you look at these most wondrous objects I have found and maybe even sell you one. Just one. The hardy crystal staff of doom, the hardy rake of haunting, the mighty pointy hat of sense, the deaf buckler of stone, the bright blue boots of wealth, mind, shield rune, and strange stone. Crystal staff of doom, plus two vitality, 14% damage to beasts, skill, heal three. We have heal two. If I, if I have heal two and I get a heal three, does that make a heal five? Probably not. Hardy Rake of Haunting, plus 3 Vitality, plus 15% damage to Undead. Boots, you don't have any. Mighty Pointy Hat of Sense. Strength, Magic, Item, Find, that's good. And Life Steal. 5% is gonna be like less than 1 per hit. Plus 2 Agility, Damage Protection, and Block. Two intellect, 5% gold find, three move speed. I don't know what move speed is. that just attack speed? Or is that just like when I'm moving from one spot to the next? Your magic points protect you from damage. Interesting. That would negate my ability to heal myself. Immune to curses. Like this? Give me immune to curses. I don't know what that means. I don't know what curses are, but it sounds horrible. I think the boots are great, but I think the curses might be best. And, you know, until I get another charm and then I don't use that charm. But then I, the same thing can happen with, with the boots, so... Let's purchase the strange stone. Even gives you the item and scurries away. Ooh, look at that, that looks fancy. Come across a radiant treasure chest. Am I out of keys? I'm out of keys. You open it, doesn't matter. No one cares, no one was looking. Book of Wand Mastery. Corrupt Strap Armor of Intellect. Minus one regeneration, but plus three intellect. Defense five, we have defense eight. Fool's Strap Armor of Purity. Minus 2 Intellect, but plus 30% Poison Resist. Defense 5. Other Armor, plus 1. Very nice. Arty Orb of Warding. Offhand, 3 Vitality, plus 9% Magic Power, plus 2 Damage. This one's better than the one that I've got. Poche. Ruined armor is the same as the ruined armor that we've seen. The axe is pretty similar. Pretty full up on our carry weight here, so I might just let these go. Oh, we do have a key. There's a key right there. Corrupt what armor? Corrupt strap on armor of intellect? Little mage. Flinging balls at me. Mage robe. Defense three, but 18% magic power. Three weight. It's going in with the potions. I'm fine with that. We're gonna go try to find this thing and skip the uh, the cave, maybe. Well, this is awkward. Metal hat, 
defense four. We have defense eight on our head. Wait. Three. Look, bud, I don't know what to say here. Um, we do that. Do that. No, can we... Ooh, do that. Can we just learn it? No, we gotta have 12. 12 intellect, okay. Uh, ruined armor, throw it away. Leading out, digging deeper, just to throw it away. Get rid of one of these beast eyes. Well, how much did the beast eye away? Point one. Skull? Weight one. Yeet. Put that in there. Take that in there. Giant jelly. Smaller jelly. Potion of magic. Come across a hooded figure on your path, sitting on a rock. They look harmless. The hooded figure greets you. The hooded figure sees your mage robe. They offer to buy it for 16 gold. Which one? Yes. Yeah, sure. The hooded figure takes the item and blasts you with a fireball. No, it gives you your gold. Rumors. The shadow is coming. Let's go to this obelisk. New message. You seek a dark monolith. The ground is raised as if the monolith was pushed out from below the surface. Let's read this first. Greetings, adventurers. I'm an enchanter looking to uh, help where I can. If you meet me at the marked location on your map, I can enchant a weapon or armor of your choice. No fee, no question to ask. Okay, cool. Approach the monolith. The monolith towers above you, absorbing all sound. Give or make offering? Make offering. The fool's strap armor of purity. The other corrupt one. The skull. Monolith takes your offering and nothing. Try something else. Try a potion of magic. Nothing happens. The mystic hand. You feel more skilled, plus one skill point. Nice. Okay, so maybe it was just giving a, a, a magic thing. Still feeling crit. Go, go heavy crit. About to say, give it a real item. I mean, so the the cursed ones were also magical, right? So like that, you know, I feel like that should have worked. Plus, I got to get rid of the curse. We can do a double town. I don't know. Do we want to go town town? Two damage I took. Limp Bone Club of Leech. Ah, uh, yes, the Limp Bone of l Sucking Creature. Of course. Another small bag. I should probably save my money at this point in time. You can take my bones, though. And the Ring of Judgment, and the Death Spear, and the Leather, uh, and the Metal Hat, and the... Orb. My Short Sword, and that Limp Bone. Why isn't there a Lady's Emote? Better without. 
still don't have three seeds. The war spear. None of these are magical. I just don't think that we should even think about going non-magical. Constitution. Grants one stat point. Yes. All permanent upgrades, please. Invisibility potion. Temporarily avoid all battles while traveling. Interesting, interesting, interesting. View my cart. Check out, please. What do we want? Probably more intellect. What does the game interface look like? Windows 95. Oh my god, no one said that yet. That's so interesting. That sponge? Coming! Chosen one! You've arrived at the location for a quest, no subject. Sponge! It's a trap. There's a small house on a tree nearby. There's a poster for a missing horse named Sponge. You knock on the door and a young child immediately opens it. Have you seen my horsey? Hey! My horse ran off! Find it! That's it? So that wasn't where... We were supposed to go. Oh my goodness, an imp. Oh my goodness, my, my face. Horned wrap. Head. Damage to humans. Blacksmith ahead and a sign that reads, Upgrade your items here. Blacksmith greets you with a warm welcome. If you provide me the materials, I can upgrade a weapon. Other armor for two skulls. Yeah, sure. I don't have this horn. I don't know what that is. Don't tell me what the horn is. I don't have one of those. Probably dropped by the imp. I have this. It's got two horns on it. I do not have the record. Oh, I sold one of my skulls. Oh. All right, you jerk. Do, do, do. Man, we need no more of these leather or living seeds, not leather seeds. I don't think so. You see a strange figure on your path. Looks like the same item scrounging demon you saw earlier. At first the demon hides, but soon recognizes you. But have you come to look at my bag of wonders again? The demon laughs. How much money we got? City five. Charnel Power Rune increases all stats but attracts demons. Magic Root Charm immune to poison. The boots of wealth are the same, I think. And these are the same. Hard Sword of Lords. 10% damage to bosses. Kite Shield of Warding. Mighty Boosh. Of wealth. What am I looking at? AOL? Boots. Perfect. Thanks, chump. 
A demon. Demon that's just chillaxing. Iron Mask. Defense 5. Pathetic. Scroll of Burn. A Mimic. Burn it. How dare you! Come across me and my loot. Take some potions. My potions thing is full though, so like... Use one of these magical potions, I guess, and... How much is this way? Two? Get the full out, I guess. Book of Poison. Alright, let's go! That looks like a fancy chest up there, but that looks like a demon summoning... ...thing. Guarded by a monster, of course. Turns out this chest that I thought was a chest is just like a cabinet. It's in the house of this demon, it's like cooking in the kitchen, it's like making some pancakes, and I'm like, a chest! Wait, did I just rip my last key then and I can't open the big one? I don't understand how keys work here. Crush this to get outside quickly. Away, crystal. Strap armor. I might have just used my last key. Ooh, fountain. Cultist. Mighty silver wand. Strength and magic regen. You see, cleansing altar. The inscription on the altar reads, Drink from this blessed water to cleanse your body of malicious forces. You do not need to be cleansed. Why is the demon wearing a sweatband? I don't have room for this. Doesn't tell me how much this sells for, so let's just leave it, I guess. Ooh, rock trying to hit me. Would you just... Would you motherfucking just leave me alone? Deft Ring of Sense. Free Agility and 9 Magic Item Find. I like it, but probably not going to use it. Leveled up. Demon Ward. Someone may want this. Level up first. Yeah, let's go all strength. Critical focus. Damn. Also, bandage. Recover four percent health after each battle. That, that could be good. Passive. All skills cost one less magic point for your mind. Get an extra stat point every time you level. Okay, I need that. I need that, I need Keen. Ichi. There are remnants of a ritual here. A series of circles are drawn in the ground and a strange item strange items are scattered around. An old book is in the center of the circle. Check the items. Ash's horn. We have a horn now. And a second skull. I guess the ashes. Take the book. I don't really want the book. Cursed. Ancient book. 
text is indecipherable. I can't read this guy. Oh, I didn't mean to use it. I just wanted to take it. Take it in my trash. Come across a radiant treasure chest. You open the treasure chest. Cleaver, dark club, deft axe of lords, arty ring of frenzy, blue boots. Another way crystal. Leather helm and then another mystic hand. We're full up, dude. I don't know what you want me to do with this. Ring of Frenzies, Vitality, and Crit Chance. I gotta go crit. Is that even better than Magic Power and Agility? Probably. Crit Chance, Crit Chance, Crit Chance, Crit Chance. Damage to bosses? That's not bad, but heavy. He ain't heavy. Actually, he's pretty fucking heavy. Blue boots, just stick it somewhere. I don't know. Would really like to get to a city right now. Travel the forest too. We need one more living seed. I lost. What did I lose here? My quests. Urgent help requested. Hi, my name is Glue, and I'm hoping that you can help me. I was attacked by some bandits recently, and they took a very special ring from me. It's been in my family for several cataclysms, and I'd hate to lose it now of all times. Please, if you find it. Can you drop it off at a guild post? I'll make sure you get a reward. Thanks. Gilu's ring. Traveling caravan crosses your path. Caravan is traveling north from nearest fort. Fort Pavternax on the cavern. Caravan are some villagers, including a merchant. Hitch a ride to the fort or talk to the merchant. I'd like to hitch a ride, please. Bits, you can go back to the anvil to upgrade with the skulls if you like. Yeah, about that. Fool's leather armor of strength. Minus five intellect, but plus four strength. Heavy mail. Defense 13. That's pretty good. If there's anything else we'd like to buy. Disc Spear. Seven and nine. How much damage are we doing right now? Three to six. Jagged Sword. Four to eight. Broad Sword of Plague. 125. That's five to five damage. Four vitality. Three poison attack. Deft Ring of Haunting. Damage to undead. Bright Ring of Agility. Intellect and Agility. Scroll of Heal, Crystal Staff, Antidote, Potion Magic. Yolanka, five months. Hey, Dad, what's up? Welcome back. Thank you so much for that. Have we done any of these things? Missing one living seed still. All right. Sell some stuff. Demon ward, we're gonna keep that. Silver wand can go. Strap armor can go. Leather armor can go. Shield can go. Horned wrap can go. Iron mask can go. Adapt axe of the lords can go. Ancient book. Maybe keep that. Book of Ash Storm. Can we do that yet? No, it's until like 12 and we have 11. Blue boots can go. Too bad for the kids who don't get to experience 98. Windows. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, were we going to buy something? Heavy mail.
that. There we go. And we could try to travel downwards and, and get to the anvil, but we're right here. So, like, let's see what's up with this. We've arrived at the location. Upgrade your gear. You enter the Enchanter's Hovel, they immediately start examining your items. Yes, yes, you have some items here I can enchant. Please choose one, only one. Yolanka, good night. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Plus three vitality, plus 11% escape chance. Could have been better, could have been worse. I don't want to see what this is. Beacon. Oh, we have to light the beacons. Let's let's go back. Hopefully find a living seed in the woods. A bandit. Tough. Okay. Okay. Guess you could just cheat. That's fine. You just you to cheat. Cheat away. Cheaty, 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 cheaty. Come across an enchanted healing fountain. Drop one gold. Make a wish. I don't know what that means. But I'm rich, so drop more! It just maybe heals you for more, I don't know. Unburied. Upgraded zombie. Master Zeno gifted a sub to Endless Paradoxes. Thanks, Master Zeno. Yolden gift Subarino. Yolden? Oop, I didn't even loot that thing. They usually, they're, they're empty usually. Usually. Uh, you stand before one of the three guardian beacons. The ground is littered with corpses of other outsiders. There is an inscription at the base of the beacon. Read the warning. Light the three beacons to open the path of the king. This beacon is guarded by Brogd. It's a very hard battle. Don't go with and spend that Subarino lightly. Zeno. Okay. Do it. Use this. Use this. What else? I don't know, man. Vigor. his little soul. Careful, hats. It's a tough battle. Yeah. Chat. Never Hello. believes in me. Hi, chat. How is everyone? Charm of fortitude. Health drains slower when damage is taken. Why would my health drain at all? Who's draining my health? The king's icon. Teleport to the nearest fort. Rocked sword. Pot denied. Poison. Regeneration. Damage to beast. Critical chance. All you had to say was critical chance. How have you been, Jamie? I've been good. I've been working. 14 agility required. I'll take that and I'll use that for sure. You can just let close brightly. All right, you guys. I'm going to call it here on this game. I'm hoping that I can save and quit. That's supposed to be built like Windows 95, apparently, as Chad has made evidently clear. Um, I've got this world navigator menu uh -huh. open. I've got my quests that I can go through here. I've got my bag of stuff. Okay. And some bags in Cute. the bags, a log. I've got 
my adventure stuff. This is me. Oh, I see. I was wondering with the mustache if that was you or if that was some other guy. Here's my status. That I should be worried about. Here's all my skills. Behold all of my things. <laughs> you see Ragnarok? Throw, throw Ragnarok? Yes. I did. Um, how do I quit? How do I quit and come back to this? I don't know how to do these. Bottom left. Can I save or is that just, do I just quit? You can never quit. It's your life now. Would you like to play a game? I'm assuming it that it auto saves, but I don't know. I think he just quit. Argus will be saved. Got it. Cool. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Let me know how much you hate Fifeinator for making me play this. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next one.